Hello, this is Stephen Maskin with South Florida Water, and I just wanted to take a minute to explain to people why we like to test your well water. Uh, we get several calls, people just wanting us to give them a quote over the telephone, and we can be very generalized, but the reason I hesitate with quotes is we need to test your water, because if we just sell you a simple water softener to go on your well, and then it turns out you have sulfur problems, which is rotten egg smell, a water softener isn't capable of taking care of that, or real high iron, or tannins, or anything like that, or bacteria. Uh, so when I personally come out to your home, what I test for is I do a bacteria test, I do an iron test, I test your pH, I test for tannins, I test your hardness, uh, so I, I do lots of different tests. Uh, sulfur, uh, so there's lots of different tests that we do when you come out to your well. Uh, different pieces of equipment will handle different problems. Uh, like I told you, a water softener wouldn't handle sulfur. Well, the water softener, what that's good for is that will take care of uh, all the minerals in the water, the calcium in the water, and it will take care of a degree of iron. Uh, so if you have a small amount of iron in your water, a water softener will take care of that. Uh, but most of the time on most wells, it's my finding, uh, at least in the uh, mid-central uh, Florida range, uh, a lot of people have tannins in their water and they don't realize it's tannins. They think it's iron, uh, but yellow water, if you were to take a yellow bucket and right out at your well before it goes through any filtration and fill that bucket and let it set a couple of minutes. If the water turns yellowish, uh, that's usually tannins in the water and that can be easily treated. Uh, it just needs to be uh, oxidized uh, and that can be treated with uh, uh, hydrogen peroxide or a tannin filter, but there's different filters for different problems. And uh, same as if you have high iron, we have different filters to oxidize that iron or and to remove the iron. So different filters will handle different water problems. And uh, if you have bacteria, we simply use hydrogen peroxide or chlorine or a UV light. So we give you choices. And so most of the time when I go out to a well, they're not stuck with one choice. There's many water companies out there that will literally come out to your home, they will do no water tests at all, and they'll just tell you one product and they'll have their price. Uh, we don't do that at South Florida Water. We come out, we wanna know what your water's about, and then we tell you the different options you have, and there are usually two to three different options that will fix your water, make your water really good, and you can choose which option fits your lifestyle and what's the easiest for you. So what you're saying that is if you have a well, the first thing that you would want to do is have your water test. Is that, is that what I'm understanding? The first thing you want to do before you can even discuss filtration is you have to know what's in your water. So yes, you need a water test. Uh, to just get a quote, it's literally impossible to get a quote, an accurate quote when you don't know anything about your water. So you need to know what, what's wrong with your water, if anything, but you need to know what's wrong with your water and what it's going to take to fix it. So again, uh, this is Steve with South Florida Water, and thank you very much.